and welcome back. Well, there's nothing better than using your talents to champion a cause that you really believe in, particularly when that's a vision of beauty. In today's local spotlight, artist Laurel Sherry shares her perspective on some gorgeous open spaces right in our own backyard. Laurel Sherry's renditions practically explode with color. I just love nature. I love, you know, the trees, the fields, the mountains, the ocean. <laughs> it just draws me. You know, you spend hours at one spot. You really get to know it. It's so different than just shoot a picture and keep going. She's been drawing and painting all her life and says she's learned to trust her instincts. When rain kept her indoors, she started this sketch on canvas, inspired by a photo of Morro Bay. I can make the decision whether I'm going to include each and every boat and each and every building or leave some of them out. I may leave some of them out or, or reduce their detail because they're not the important part of the picture. I've got some color mixed up here and I use a fairly large brush, you know, and I just start blocking in because all of that are the, is the trees and darkness. So I'll get that all blocked in. That's my next step. She's also learned how to gauge when less is more. It's okay to leave it a little bit undone because you want the viewer to complete the communication. She says that communication is never really the same. In fact, she says two artists painting any given subject will come away with vastly different work. Everyone is so individual. I will go out painting with a group of painters. We'll have our easels lined up, all looking at the same scene. And when we're done, they are completely different. Which is why there's always more to see and more to do. One of my teachers said behind every successful artist, there's 100 miles of canvas. A lot of experience there. Now, Laurel actually also teaches, and you can see her work a show called Nature Driven Art, which is at the Land Conservancy, Slow. There are paintings of five of the 12 open spaces in the city of San Luis Obispo. Now, the Land Conservancy is located at 547 Mars Street, downtown, and the show runs through the end of January. Hours are 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And for more information, just click on the links section at ksby.com. Time right now.